Hi everyone. This is my little Christmas fish. He's very easy to do. I know I tell you that for every single ornament, but he he really is very, very easy. And if you have a fish cookie cutter, you can actually use that too. But we're going to start with making a white tapered log. You can change the color of your fish, but I thought the white would stand out on the tree. And just shape it the way I'm doing. Don't make him real thin. And we all know that these ornaments are not three-dimensional, that they do have a flat back. But don't make them super thin. Just gonna make the tail. We have a giant fish tank in the living room. It's about, oh gosh, eight feet long by two feet wide. And at this point, it only has maybe 10 fish in it. But when they see me coming, I'm the one that feeds them. When they see me coming, they all go to the top of the tank. So of course I have to make a little fish ornament. <clears throat> I'm going to texture the tail. This ornament is about, I would say, three inches long, and you can make it bigger or smaller. Make it any size you want. Just make a line there. This is behind that line you're going to make your scales. I did do the scales wrong. I should have started, I should have had them facing towards the back. And I didn't realize it until I was watching the video back. I thought, oh, I did them backwards. But it doesn't really matter. See, I should not have started there. I should have started in the front. Yes, I'm going to make you watch as I put all the scales on. Maybe I should have jumped ahead. Yeah, they're backwards. <laughs> now we're going to do a spin. just blend it into the body and I just use the end of the paintbrush to blend it in. You don't need fancy tools. I guess you've figured that out already that I do not use fancy tools. You don't have to spend a lot of money on tools. These are just little Christmas ornaments. And again the knitting needle to texture. All my knitting needles were purchased at a thrift store. They always have a good selection of knitting needles, all different sizes. You don't have to go and buy new ones. Now this is no specific fish, it's just my idea of a fish. I 
I keep thinking I did this video for you already, but I don't think I did. We'll check it. Now, I use uh, cookie cutters to do the stars. You can get them anywhere. You can get them online or in the craft stores. You can also make your own stars. And I think in one of the videos, I showed you how to do it. We're going to do two stars, a smaller one and a little bit larger one. They're not really very big. But these are really good cookie cutters to have when you're making the ornaments. I use them quite a bit. I don't know why the light is kind of blinking. I don't know what happened there, but sorry. you know how much I love my garlic press and this is I've had this one I've told you this before for over 30 years and it broke and I put a piece of wire through now when you squeeze it out just squeeze out little short strands and I, I want to remind you here you have to condition your clay if you don't condition your clay it just won't work very well and it will not squeeze through the garlic press very well so make sure it's very well conditioned and I use the tip of the knitting needle to press the garland in place because it it adheres it to the fish without flattening the little strands I think I found out one of the problems with my microphone is that I have to let it start and run for a little bit before I start talking. Because if I start talking the minute I hit record, I sound very garbled. And I'm sorry about that, but I just figured that out. Now remember, when you do the hook, make sure you've got a, a little hook on the bottom so the weight of the ornament doesn't pull pull it off the hook when you're hanging it on the tree. Well, listen, at least you don't have to listen to the cheesy music I had on most of these videos. I'm trying to get rid of the music and just talk on all of them, so. I'm going to put the stars on. And like I said, the, the name will go in the big star and the year will go in the smaller star. And that's if you personalize. And when you sell these online or at craft shows, I am telling you, people love to have their ornaments personalized. It's more work, but that adds up to more sales.
Now, you don't have to put that there, but to me, it just adds a little more of a Christmas touch. And of course, I have to do my holly leaves and berries. You'll be amazed at how people look at the details on the ornaments. I don't know how many of you sell your ornaments, but those little extra touches make for more sales. People appreciate those little extra touches. And it doesn't really take that long to add them on. Maybe a few seconds. And it's totally worth it. Put your little red berries on, on the holly leaves, and then put some little red balls on the garland also. Now when you do the eyes, you can use different colors. You don't have to use the colors that I use. You can make it blue or light blue or light green, or just whatever you want. I just kind of went along with the Christmas colors. Now, when you put the black ball on, don't put it in the middle of the white, because then he has that deer caught in the headlights look and we don't want to do that on any of the ornaments. You always want them looking somewhere off to the side, up or down, but never staring straight ahead unless it's something like an owl or something that is glaring at you, but you don't most of them you don't want to do that look. Now he's kind of looking up Blush. Remember, blush. Blush, blush, blush before you bake. Always. You're probably sick of hearing me say that, but that's what we do. Now, I gave him a little sparkle with embossing powder, and I used white embossing powder, and then I used a little bit of green, and to be honest, I'm not crazy about the green I put on, and you don't have to put it on if you don't want to. It's not necessary. But I want to remind you, do not put any on the stars or anywhere that you want to write. See, the white is gives it a really nice little glittery look and sparkle, but I think I messed up when I put the green on. That It wasn't necessary.
yeah, I wasn't happy with that, but you know, do what you want. And then, of course, bake him according to the instructions on your clay package. And you're all done. And that was quick and easy. Hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you next time. Bye.